This was a time of deep suspicions held by the two superpowers on either side of the ocean. This was right in the middle of the Cold War. Soviets had not put Sputnik into space yet, and the U.S. had not launched its own satellite. You have high tension between the nations and just kept building. The U.S. was building all kinds of surveillance to capture any activity that the Soviets might be doing. Everyone is on high alert. And then the United States... It was a really good job in world building. Um, I was able to follow what was going on, who was who. Um, the information within this sci-fi context pretty well. Um, and that's really important when you're establishing, you know, new rules, new ideas. Um, or then we end up with movies like Dune. <laughs> I think you did a great job uh, explaining that, making it easy to follow. I think it was um, paced really well, visually really appealing. Um, the score was really nice and I think it fit really well and helped uh, progress the story along. Overall, it came together as a really cohesive piece. The mystery of the Black Knight, where did the satellite come from during a time during the historically Cold War and America and the diving into the concept of trying to uh, gain that advantage and be on top and know the most information about something um, and trying to get the one up uh, in other countries. Also diving into the conversation of people outside of Earth trying to connect with humans in this space. And it's, it's quite interesting. It made me think of such uh, ideas like the secret and all of the greats have this notion of the secret versus here you kind of get standpoints from people like Einstein, from Stephen Hawking, from uh, Nikola Tesla and all of these people and gaining their perspective of how these great ideas that came to them did just simply that it came to them and what happens if these outside people are actually communicating with us and does life outside of earth exist and why is it that they keep away from us and not want to contact with us so it's very interesting and the information download on these topics they show um, interviews from uh, professional people who have studied this their entire lives along with bits of information that the government has released in essays along the way as well. So you really get a full encompass of these perspectives because it's such a well-rounded conversation happening with a bunch of people. He does a really great job of going to all these various experts and um, quantum physicists and historians and scientists to get their um get their opinions and just to get the a, aspect or insight into their research so that you know he becomes an expert on it himself one of the experts you know talks about nikola tesla and having this major forward thinking mind during the time 1880 1899 and how he built this electric radio tower to transmit and receive signals and then he started to hear things and it's able to disseminate what he's hearing some are natural and some are extraterrestrial and so it kind of brings about this question of we need to determine who was spying on us is this anomaly that was found originally in the sky uh, extraterrestrial anomaly is it what NASA describes it as as something that is you know an, an, a, a a piece of uh, a spaceship it's nothing to worry about and then it, you have all these experts that are kind of saying that you know in a way NASA may be telling us things that is meant to appease us but is not necessarily the truth. I liked the way that the filmmakers chose to deliver all of that information. I think that they were very smart about how they were putting this information 
out there to the general public because they explained it well. I loved what they did with the special effects, like with the computer and having it superimposed that there was the other, there was the interviewee on the other side. I thought that that was really, really clever. I thought that the music was great. It added a whole nother layer and another depth to this underneath it, which helped elevate the film. I thought that that was great. It was really fascinating to me to listen to what each interviewee had to say and what, um, and what Billy also was saying and how he was telling his story through this. Like I said, there was a lot of information that was given. And I think that the filmmakers and the editor did a great job uh, balancing all of that with a portion of an interview. And then they would cut, they would give you a photograph, they would give you part of an old videotape. And that helped the flow with it, which is also due to good editing as well. It's a very interesting film. Um, you know, I think this is a movie that could potentially achieve pretty wide distribution. Um, I think there's a market for a film with this kind of <clears throat> subject matter. You know, it's a film that asks big questions um, that I think a lot of people are interested in. Um, it's also very relevant to today. You know, UFOs and UAPs have been uh, in the news a lot this year. And also at the time of this recording, Jordan Peele's movie, Nope, uh, just came out a few months ago. Um, so yeah, I think there's a market for this movie, and I would encourage the filmmakers to seek distribution. I really like the graphics a lot. Graphics, everything looked really great. A uh, good use of the soundtrack sounded good, and uh, just the interviews were conducted very well. Everybody stated their points very, uh, you know, very efficiently and clearly. Uh, just from start, middle, finish, everything made sense. There's unified points uh, and uh, a purpose to the whole thing. Uh, so, um, yeah, everything, everything made total sense. All the arguments they're putting forth, putting forth, uh, you know, um, everything came together and added up. So yeah, it, and it all looked great. And, um, you know, it was entertaining to watch and, um, yeah, it was just really well done. I personally think after watching it, that the black Knight is probably these beings watching over us. I don't think they're dangerous. I think it goes hand in hand with the Bible that talks about angels coming in UFOs to teach us and learn with the ancient prophets in the time of giants. Um, they might be there watching to hope we can overcome good versus evil. Could be waiting to see when the second coming can happen. I don't personally know. No one does. But it does end with saying we should be our own gods, which sounds like a scientist. But, and it's a little arrogant, but I do think we are waiting for the, for something better as the world heats up more and this documentary goes hand in hand with religious documents about ancient creatures whether they're angels or an ancient civilization it could be both just watching after us mm -hmm.